Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called atenolol, and the brand name is Chenormin. Atenolol falls under the class of beta blockers, specifically beta-1 selectives, and it is also an antidysrhythmic. Your mechanism of action is that atenolol antagonizes the beta-1 receptors, and this causes a decrease in the heart rate, contractility, and overall cardiac output. Your indications for atenolol are paroxysmal SVT, atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, and hypertension. As always, before we get into dosages, make sure that you abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. The dose is going to be 5 milligrams slow IV push over 5 minutes, and you may repeat this once after 10 minutes. The second dose is exactly the same, 5 milligrams slow IV push over 5 minutes, and it is not recommended in pediatrics. Contraindications include CHF, cardiogenic shock, second and third degree blocks, bradycardia, or lung disease. Adverse reactions of atenolol can include heart failure, myocardial infarction, bradycardia, pulmonary edema, orthostatic hypotension, and dysrhythmias. Drug interactions. It does potentiate antihypertensives, and it can mask the signs of hypoglycemia. It's typically supplied in 5 milligrams in 10 milliliter vials. And a few side notes about atenolol. You continuously want to monitor vital signs and EKG just to look for any dysrhythmias or any drops in blood pressure that could be dangerous dangerous, etc. Be prepared for orthostatic hypotension when the patient stands up. Also, use with caution in patients with liver or renal failure and also patients with COPD. And always remember 3 to 10 milligrams of glucagon can help reverse a beta blocker overdose. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol. Stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol, medical direction, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I I will see you next week. Bye.